Hey guys, welcome back to an episode of 12 Inch Freaking Fanatic. Today we're opening up Butcher from the show The Boys. Awesome show. I already reviewed Homelander in a previous video, so this one's going to go perfectly right next to it. This apparently was an Amazon exclusive, this deluxe version that comes with the baby with the uh, uh, glowing eyes, uh, but I got it off eBay. So let's open it up and see what we got. All right. So, like I said, if you haven't seen this show, you definitely got to check it out. It's a little, little raunchy, a little shocking at times, but that's part of its comedic value, I think, is that you just, they just do jaw-dropping things in, in, in the show sometimes. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's see. So the head sculpt itself is uh, probably a, a little bland in the paint job. Um, the the sculpt itself is is okay, but there they could use some a little bit more detail. But the paint um, definitely could use a little bit more detail. Um, additional layering. Um, yeah, I don't, it, it's almost so basic that it's like a, like a Ken doll almost. Um, even the way they did the, the mustache and the beard, it could be textured a little bit better. So I'll, I'll say just okay on the head sculpt. Um, as far as the outfit goes, you know, pretty, pretty decent, a little basic, um, slight weathering on the boots, single sculpt. Basic pants, shirt, and that is a button button shirt. Let's take this off here. There we go. Hands, very basic. No, uh, no extra paint detailing on that. Even the, even the way they did the nails, it's a little cartoonish. Yeah. Um, standard dexterity, though, and it's, it's a little bit beefy um, in the body, and I think there's, a, uh, there's an additional... Here, let's see. It's got some texture on it. Let's see. What did they do here? Okay. They weathered, they weathered the, uh, the skin a little bit too much. It's a, it's a little too muscular. But, um, yeah, pretty decent. Let's see what else we got. A lot of accessories with this one. We have a shovel, single sculpt. Nothing additional as far as detailing goes. A long-range... High powered rifle, and this comes out, and there's a round in there. Nice. Um, no movement, though. Nicely weathered. They did a good job with that. And then it's got the scope, and the scope does have this red on this side, and then red on that side. Crowbar. Also weathered nicely. All right, and this goes on here. Yeah, there's a spot to insert it there. Fits snugly. Oh, man, too snugly. Okay. There we go. Got a stand, and because it's officially licensed, they were able to put the boys on there. I like it. I like a nameplate, but that's okay. Whoops. Got a watch, and it's got a fake leather strap to it. Is that leather? No. No, spandex, just a spandex strap. Nicely done, though. Good detailing on the watch face. 
sunglasses and they do have some translucence to it so putting it on the head sculpt you can see the eyes behind them nicely done Some extra hands. Got that right there. Looks like a uh, cattle prod. A uh, necklace. And there is a little shape on there. What is that? I don't know. All right, another hand, and looks like a uh, AR rifle with a scope on here as well. Snaps right on. This one has a uh, a lens here and a lens here as well. Buttstock does not move. No movement at all on this. Magazine comes out, rounds inside. Once again, weathered. They were pretty quick in the weathering, though. Just kind of randomized the uh, silver uh, scratch strokes in there. And then we have a additional head sculpt. Oof. Yeah, this is the same problem as the other one. The uh, paint job is not done very nicely. And it just doesn't look quite as much like him as it should. The hair does seem slightly better on this one, though. A tiny little cigarette. And this looks like... Uh-oh. Oh, a battery compartment. What are you supposed to do with that? I guess that one LED in there. Oh, I see. Okay. Assemble at your own risk. Oh, man. Okay. Putting that in there. All right. I'll figure this out later set this thing up and uh, give me my final thoughts. All right, so here we have them all set up. And um, I don't know, he's, he's growing on me. I guess, I guess the head sculpt is not as bad as it could be. Um, I did fix the baby. There's the glowing eyes. Not as bright as I thought they would be, but there's not a clear line of sight to the light either because they've got this paint job on it and the, um, the plastic underneath the or behind the face is actually... Um, kind of translucent, but a little opaque as well. They could have made that a little bit more clear so the light shines through. Um, but it's interesting the way they did this. So it's, it's touch sensitive to this magnet on the top here. So um, you put the battery in there, you, you slide this thing in here, it, it, it snugly fits in there. And then the contact of the, of the magnet on the top ends up... Oh. That fits in the hole there. Oh, it's just kind of annoying. So, yeah, now it's on. You put it in there, snug it in, and then you try to... Oh, man. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's kind of annoying to, to put together. And the fact that they didn't do a switch on the back of the head is just kind of a, an annoying shortcut that they took. But it's, you know, an additional accessory they didn't have to include. But it looks nice. Like that. So scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this figure a uh, 8.7. Just some shortcomings on the head sculpts. And uh, I really appreciate all the accessories it comes with. Uh, it's almost overkill. Um, 
But uh, anyways, thanks for tuning in and I will see you guys next time.